Everything I am and most things I know were said to me by my grandmother or my mother. Only now, I wish I had listened more. My grandmother was born into the world of 1905. She didn't have the privilege of going to high school, but she taught herself to read, and because of that, she was able to read the Bible each night before she fell asleep. Times were tough then but she made it in spite of the challenges. Amid all the challenges, she found the beauty that life had to offer. She would say, from my generation to yours, here are some things I wish I could give you. I wish I could give you passion. If you haven't discovered what you love, I wish you would spend every waking minute searching for it. I wish at some point you get paid for doing something you love. I encourage you to find as many moments of laughter as you can. And oh yes, I wish you a double heaping dose of strength and courage because most folks are haters. Your belief in yourself must be so strong that it doubles everyone else's collective disbelief. I also wish you the incredible power to move on. You are going to make mistakes. Make them, fix them if you can, and move on. When you have found love and formed unions and raised children and taught students and built businesses and created new economic systems and developed theories and invented new technologies and produced created and told new stories in fascinating new ways when your life is done and you join the spirits of all those viewers, that have come viewers, before viewers, you please you will have lived to hit truly like richly icon, and only thumbs then up or can you dislike icon and right honorably here, so don't, so don't lie down if you don't like the video dream. if you're not yet a subscriber i am the, the product of right my below, grandmother's right generational so, like, prayers Connor, i grew up with her and it. my mother mm -hmm. and we had